653. Let's take a look at the top stories we're following as you head out the door. And this morning we begin with Y31 Sarah Singletary. Only five days left until the Huntsville City Superintendent application closes, and so far only three people have applied. Interim Superintendent Christy Finley is not one of those three applicants. The application does close July 30th. Naja. All right, thank you, Sarah. Happening today, the Daikin plant is opening back up in Fayetteville after a bomb threat came into the corporate office yesterday. The call went to an office in Texas, but it was directed at the plant in Fayetteville. Investigators swept the building and found nothing suspicious. They are working to find out how credible that threat was. Work is back in full swing here at the future site of the Mazda Toyota manufacturing plant following a two week hiatus after it was discovered it was near the site of a threatened fish species. Now, developers say they're working with the city of Huntsville to ensure that the habitat of the spring pygmy sunfish is protected during the construction. The Center for Biological Diversity is still concerned, though, and says it's assessing its options. Bill. Police identify the man murdered in his southwest Huntsville home as 46 year old Dwayne Cook. They did not reveal how he died. A neighbor there on Troy Swatsey Boulevard told us he heard yelling at Cook's home the day before police found Cook's body. Alyssa. A secretly recorded conversation between then presidential candidate Donald Trump and his former attorney Michael Cohen have now been released. The recordings made by Cohen just months before the election in 2016. The two can be heard talking about a payment to a former Playboy model to keep her story of an alleged affair quiet. The president's legal team now says he never wanted to pay cash, but a check to document that payment. Naja. All right, thank you, Alyssa. At least 38 people died in suicide attacks in Syria this morning. Another 30 hurt. Islamic State militants are likely behind the attack. It happened in a marketplace right after the initial blast. Police chased two other suspected would be bombers into small villages where they set off bombs. $12 billion from the Trump administration will offset losses for farmers caused by new tariffs. A local farmer said he doesn't know how the new tariffs from China will hurt his business. The money from the administration is going to pay for farmer crops and also set up new export markets. Federal funding is headed to the city of Jacksonville to help with tornado recovery. The Alabama Emergency Management Agency awarded the city more than $900,000. This comes after four months after the tornadoes blew through Jacksonville, leaving debris and property damage. If you cross the state line to get a Mega Millions ticket, you lost. Someone in California is now half a billion dollars richer. That's where the winning Mega Millions ticket was sold. The winning numbers 1, 2, 4, 19, 29, Mega Ball 20. Don't toss your tickets. If you have certain numbers, you can still win as much as a million bucks. Kate. Not great luck when it comes to the traffic this morning. We're seeing a little bit of a slowdown there. Northbound lanes along I-65. When I say a little bit of a slowdown, I mean it's actually pretty substantial. Priceville up toward Decatur. We've got those lanes slowed down. I believe there actually is a lane closure along the bridge there. We had construction yesterday. It's likely still causing that delay today. Speed down to 9 miles per hour. One last look at the seven-day forecast today. A high of 90.